Let's see what in the fuck y'all done now. It's been a month. You still got that shit on. Good. Just about an hour from here, there is a world class surgeon who works on people my size. And I've known about him for a while, and I finally decided that it's time for me to go see him. Man, y'all gonna tear that goddamn truck up. Whatever the fuck that is. Ooh, it's cold in here. So get your fucking ass in here and put them damn seatbelts on. He don't damn drive. Don't get your ass in here asking these stupid ass questions. You know how much fucking gas it takes to get some damn wire. You don't want the fucking wheel. The fuck you asking him about a damn eighth of a tank for? They gonna tie that damn wheel up, that boy. It's nice and cold in this damn car, isn't it? I turned it on a little bit early. <laughs> hey, you damn right, it's cold. I know it's kitchen here. You scared to go up here? Or? <laughs> 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 Hello, Mr. Bill. Yeah, I'm good. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to the doctor. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to go to the doctor. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to the doctor. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. It's just gonna be a great feeling for me to see you being able to do normal things again. Well, why in the fuck you go in the grocery yeah. store and buy all that shit for them then? Yeah. Then let them order up all that damn barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's your damn fault. Where else you gonna fucking sit? Should have rented a goddamn U-Haul. You want but a damn hour away. And you just shut the fuck up and ride. You knew that damn wheel was too. Look, look. Just look at that damn automobile. You knew it was fucking too little for him in the damn way. I hope he wants something new to ride in, because that's going to be it. Ain't no damn way they're going to be able to get too much more out of that. Ain't no need to blur it out in front of that bitch. Let us see who make these tough motherfuckers. Be able to haul a goddamn well out up the fucking road. And when you leave the damn doctor, go to the barbershop and shave the rest of that shit off your damn head. Got a fucking sunroof up there and you still trying to hold on to that shit. Big forehead motherfucker. That's why, man, I'm through with this comedy shit. I'm finna go around and be a damn life coach. I'm sick of the dumb shit. God damn it, if I have to tell you again, I'll go get back in the damn truck myself. West. Yep. Don't even sit down. Get your ass on back there. Back well, you ain't now. Hoping you below six fifty. Sound fifty. I knew it. God damn it. I ain't had the numbers in the right order. But I knew it was gonna be a goddamn sound five and a zero on that bitch. I felt it in my damn soul. I ain't gonna make a damn bit of sense, man. You wipe your big ass on the hand, let me talk to you.
my situation has gotten so much worse. I just pray the doctor now can help me. No, damn it. Damn, doctor, now you need me. I be goddamn. Look at me now, wrap right back in disbelief. Damn it, that is, is right. Hello. Hey, how I'm doing? Good, how are you? Good, how are you? And don't go give me that shit about that right. shit on your damn leg. Yeah. That's your fucking fat ass way that much. This is my dad, Rick. Nice to meet you guys. All right, you are 705 pounds. How long have you been at that weight? For a damn while. Uh, don't you come here with that stupid shit either, Doc. I know a few years ago, the last time I weighed about three or four years ago, and I was like 650 pounds. And what the fuck you think, Ham, so for six years, and you sitting there eating up damn wraps and, and fucking barbecue and shit like that? So, what is going on in the past few years that you gained all that weight? He fucking oh, eating, dog. Know, what do you think? Oh, my God. Anybody for that? Any therapist? No. When you eat food, you feel better. You find food to comfort you. Mm hmm. So what is you you trying to work by doing that? Um, there's a lot of things in my past that I'm probably working through, and I probably use food to. I wouldn't give a damn about none of that. So Don't tell them what the damn plan is, Doc. Well, Don't hand me this shit here. I live by myself, but I live close to my family, to my dad and my aunts, and so go over pretty regularly. So you sit at home I'm all most of the time and eat. Yeah. So your BMI is 112. Normal BMI is 18 to 25. And being over 100 BMI is very high. Your weight is putting a lot of strain on your body right now. No, dog. Right now, I want to fucking pop that. You a really serious issue with your weight, and you're tolerating that at the moment. But you're getting older, and on top of wearing dinner, from the strain of your weight on your body for years. So very soon things gonna change and your body is gonna get to a point where you can't go on like this anymore. Then everything is going to I could have told him that shit, dog. Out that, that. Come on dad, let him know what the fuck the damn deal is so we can get to it. And tell his stupid ass dad over there to quit bringing him shit. Really soon, if you keep going like this, so are you willing to make the changes? 100%. Yes, sir. We're gonna damn see. I can live and do things on my own again. What is something you want to do with your life? I've always, uh, always wanted to be on stage in front of people, talk, act, act whatever, things like that. I always loved it, it was always a passion of mine. Hopefully, this will allow me to get up and, and do that again. Well, keep that dream. Well, when they do Charlotte well. You would be a, a fucking good pit. You want to damn be on stage. Three little pigs or something. Hell, you ain't no goddamn little pig. Fucking free will or something. Just, just stick around to them. Not only we won't be able to do your surgery because how compromised your system is, but there will be no point of doing weight loss surgery because if you aren't willing to work at this, then the surgery will eventually fail and won't change anything. Right. Okay. So at this point, you need to start working hard to change your life. Okay. You think you can do that? Yes. Fuck no. All right. Any questions? No. No, sir. Uh, so I'm going to bring you some stuff and see if we can get you going in a new direction. Right, thank you, sir. Okay, I'll be back. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You should have told... Look at the goddamn shit done slipped through the damn pants. Now I didn't damn see that. I'll be goddamn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's a crying goddamn shame, that man. I can't force you to do it. No. Well, 
Jesus had left himself, yet in a very tender place with himself. And I'm concerned about him because he is over 700 pounds and his BMI is over 100. And his being at that size is going to run now. So it is just a matter of time before his body gives up. So it's very important that let's turn things on now. If he wants to prevent that from happening. All right. This shit down there looking like a damn gristle on the leg. Okay? So go to that, make a note, make sure you understand every line. And if you have any questions, then you're gonna have to ask nobody. So that on work cadavers with less. Ideally he should be around two hundred pounds, so he's got uh, over five hundred pounds to lose. Now that's gonna be a big challenge for him and us to get him to the You're damn water. right it is. It's safe to do weight loss surgery on him. The frequency should be three times a day in your stacking between the meal. The amount should be around four hundred calories for you. You know goddamn well he ain't gonna be able to do that. Three times a day will be six hundred calories. We're gonna give you a copy of my book to do this chapter twelve, the exercise. And this exercise is geared to do for a person like you. And Doc, if you're going to fucking read it to him, then don't even damn give him the packet. Come on now, we got to damn go. What happens from here is all up to us. No one but him can make the choice to change. And as he doesn't have any time to waste. What in the God fuck they still God sitting out for, man? God damn. Too much. If you do that, then we're considering weight loss surgery. So read the stuff that I gave you every night, make the changes. And I bet the zombies leave there and get something to eat. Okay. Okay. All right. And if you come, if you need anything, give me a call. Yes, sir. All right, nice to see you guys. You too. And don't wear them goddamn shops back in here neither. You here? You're damn right. Coming here with your damn nuts, falling out your damn pants like they're embarrassing me. Get your ass up and come on out of here. Well, fucking do it. Oh damn, talk me to death. So, you know, it's all a mental game, right? I think this is going to be very hard for me to do, but I have no other option. This is my last resort. Well, leaving this meeting with Dr. Now, I know that he's going to... Look at that damn shit now. Now look at that shit now. You... <laughs> I'll be goddamn. I'll be goddamn clown, man. Just... Look at this, look at this shit here. Now, when you, you don't just let your goddamn life resort to this. Look, 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 look. look. I'll be down. Them damn struts and them shots gone off the back. 